right, so before I, get, before I get started, I just, I think I should probably point out or even ask, do I look like Ben Grimm? You know, like the guy who has like a pet bear, you know what I mean? And like roams the prairies with a 800 pound bear. I feel like him. I was going to put on my hat, but then I realized that the hat is going to create some shadow. Like these are the things you think about when, when you actually are videoing, but um, I actually did a, a video and I was just editing it right now and it's terrible uh, with my digital camera. Um, sorry. All right. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to edit this one in, instead because I think it's a little bit uh, easier to digest. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to tell everybody that I finally set up my U.S. cutter 28 inch, maybe it's 26 inch, I can't remember, 28 inch plotter. And Jennifer and I today, we actually made letters. We made stars and we made letters. You ready? Not perfect, but we're getting there. Now, this is what you guys will love, okay? This is gonna to speak to the Science Fairies shop here in just a second, because we have some stuff coming, all right? But, what? How awesome is that? This is what you've taught me how to do. This is what Shelly has taught me how to do. <laughs> so, we're gonna sell this stuff in bundles. So just get ready for it. It's exciting. I'm not gonna get any more detail about that, but um, this plotter, all right, Shelly was absolutely correct. Um, this is, a game changer for a privately owned business because what the plotter will allow you to do that you I don't think are able to do when you own a franchise is the same letter I just showed you they have to buy from the franchisee a franchise that letter and it's usually the same price at Victory Store eleven dollars and fifty cents okay so if I wanted to, which, which we're gonna do, is we're making all new letters. We're gonna have different themes. Um, our Victory Store letters for the last three months have been used like crazy. And then I realized recently that our letters aren't like all that up to date. You know what I mean? Try some of this. Yeah, I do, what is it? Good donut. Did you microwave yeah. it? Yeah, it's a little hot. Wow, it is. Just take a blow on it. No, it's hot, man. Damn it. Is that good? Yeah, it's a glazed donut, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, followers. Hey. So, one of the great things about having a plotter, and what I'm going to recommend all of you guys to do, is that um, you can customize all this stuff. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, which, by the way, please subscribe. Like, make a comment, share with your friends, double down on 11, always, unless there's a 10 showing, all right? Um, this, what this will allow you to do is now you're a master of your own domain. You don't need to reach out to Victory Store, right? Like, you can make all this stuff on your own if you want to do that. You guys see all the vinyl behind me? With the purchase of the plotter, uh, I got... 10 different colors of vinyl that I could use to put on Coreplast. Um, they're five yards each, which is enough to kind of get you excited. You know, it's like a tease. And then we also got uh, heat um, vinyl, which is a whole different animal, and we'll talk about that later. But what I like the most about um, U.S. Cutter is that they give you a little pamphlet of different types of uh, vinyl that you can buy. And 
you know, believe it or not, it's actually cheap compared to what you can see on Amazon and whatnot. But you're, I'm going to put in the description below the link that will take you to the U.S. Cutter website where you can buy this bundle. All in, I'm going to say I'm 640. I could check, but just call it 620, 640. It's like five something, and then with tax, um, it came out to 640. A well worth investment. And the reason why we went with 28 inch is not because of choice. It's because it's the only one they had left. Everything else was gone. The 24 inch was gone. Um, we even saved one in our Amazon cart and that was gone too. So this might be the only one that's available now. Uh, and if you wanted to wait, you can. If not, it's completely up to you. But that's what's included. And what we're going to talk about in this video are what it is that you should think about when you're setting up your... Um, uh, plotter. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about some of the things that I learned. It comes with a stand, which is probably a two person job. It was it was helpful that Jennifer was here. And then I'm also going to talk about uh, some of the things that I learned while setting this thing up. Now, let me just say this, that if you were able to watch my how to make H stakes out of Mason ladders, okay, and you were able to go through that process of cutting them with a wire cutter and all that kind of stuff, you have the capability of setting this up, all right? This is not a complicated process, all right? It's complicated if you don't know what you're doing, and it's complicated if you don't have anybody to call. And I was grateful that my uh, Kyle was uh, able to connect with me, and then I talked with Miss Shelley. As a matter of fact, I had to call Shelley on yesterday saturday because jennifer watched her live stream and all day long all i heard was mm, that's not what miss shelley told you to do you're not doing it the way miss shelley told you how to do it Renick. like non-stop constantly i almost jumped out of the window we called shelley to tell her so in any event if you're not a member uh if you're a member of our youtube channel um which whatever we're over at 800 now i can't even believe it um please come and join us at uh, our private Facebook group. And our private Facebook group is on Facebook. It's under Sign Fairies Lake Norman. And the name of the group is Sign Fairies. Make your own plastic letters and yard decorations. There's three questions that you have to answer before you come in, um, which everybody already knows about. And come get creative with us. We talk about this kind of stuff. Like... I can't believe that like I was spray painting letters like I just didn't know and that's okay but like have you ever felt like you've been on like a like you're on a road like, I just feel that like I'm going down that road and it's the right road and it's never been this kind of road before does that make sense like I'm doing it I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing I don't know sidetrack but I'm so grateful because the plotter is a game changer. And so what we'll do is we'll spend time going over the setup. It's not complicated, all right? And then I'm also gonna spend some time uh, going over the software. And the reason why it took us so long to make a decision is because I work on a Mac and just about every other plotter that's out there only works on Windows. And they don't tell you, which is scary. They might say something like, you know, works with every computers with Windows. But then if you don't read Windows and you have a Mac and you get it, then you're just going to be mad. Um, so. Uh... Okay. So I just moved literally from like one spot over to where the actual plotter, uh, plotter is. Plotter. I, have not, I didn't buy a plotter. I bought a plotter. Um, that's not true. It's a lie. Okay. So what I'm going to show you is the U S cutter 28 inch plotter. Okay. I'm just going to give you a quick, quick spin here. So here, here, here's what it is. Now we got 28 inch, not because we like 28 inch, but we got 28 inch because that's legitimately the only bundle that they had. I honestly think that, uh, right now, um, everybody is buying plotters because our yard sign celebration business is absolutely exploding, okay? 
So when you get the bundle, okay, you'll get the plotter, you'll get, you know, um, you'll get the vinyl, you get everything. But the stand, okay, I'm going to show you one more time. The stand, the stand right here. All right, listen. If you hear my kid screaming upstairs, he's raging because he's a, a black ops, you know, uh, modern warfare guy. So there's a good possibility that you could hear some swear words upstairs. And if that's the case, it'll be great um, because I'll go upstairs and I'll put him in a figure four leg lock. And if you don't know what that is, that's a devastating um, submission hold that the WWE uh, Ric Flair used. Uh, woo! All right, I digress. But so... We got the U.S. plotter, um, U.S. cutter, the plotter, and we got the stand. Now, the stand will take some time. Um, if you have a drill um, and if you have, you know, even a screwdriver and if you don't have a drill, uh, putting together the stand, if you've done that kind of stuff, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It'll probably take you an hour, hour and 15 minutes. But if you haven't done that stuff, and you probably want to do it with two people. Because believe it or not, Jennifer was super helpful and very accommodating. And that was wonderful. Okay. So I want to talk about putting vinyl into the cutter. Well, before I do that, the, the instructions for using the plotter are horrific. Okay. It, absolutely horrific. The only thing that the instructions are really good for is to help you understand the importance of putting the blade into the actual, um, let's just want to call it as holster and how uh, deep you have to get it. All right. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but when you have vinyl on something that it sticks to, you have to be able to cut the vinyl, but not cut the other piece below it. Because if you do that, you're just going to be in trouble. You don't want that to happen. But, um, I just had an absolute dandy of a time figuring this out, all right? So I'm gonna show this to you. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take it out, all right? So this, this is your um, blade, all right? And it's very simple. You unscrew it and it comes out. This little clasp will open up and then you pull it out. Not like the way I'm doing it. I'm probably going to break all the solder areas and it'll be a cluster. All right. So I'm going to stay in this picture, but this is uh, where your actual blade goes and you can unscrew it and screw it back in. I, I would show you how to do that, but I have my, my blade set perfectly now, so I'm not going to do that. But what I want to show you, because it absolutely destroyed me, it literally, I, I called Kyle who was great. I even called Shelly in a couple of different scenarios. So one of the things that I assumed, and I'm not sure if anybody knows what the word assumed means. It's an ass out of you and me. Okay. was when you look at this uh, blade holder, you will see that there's a circle around this blade holder. Okay. Not everyone is like this. It's just not. But this one is. Okay. So what I did was when I put the blade into the actual holder, okay? I rested the blade, I, I rested the, the, the blade holder on top. I'm gonna show you. On top, right up here. So when I put it in, all right, I'll put it in wrong, see if I can do it. Yeah, perfect. So if you put it in like that, and you tighten it up, I won't tighten up too. If you put it in like that, you see how high it is above the actual area? Just so that you know, that's wrong. Okay? And what I don't want you to do is panic. Because I did. And that's why you're watching this video. Okay? Because that's wrong. And you're going to try to figure out why it's not high enough. Because that's what I tried to do. And if you do a Google search on why is my blade too high than the surface of my plotter, you will get thrown into a vortex of just information that you will not be able to get out of. It's like a black hole. So don't go there, okay? This is the tip for you because I didn't know any better, all right? So because you saw how I set it up incorrectly with this U.S. cutter, this is what you need to do in order to do it correctly, okay? So or t this is incorrect way, 
All right, and I'll make a little thing about it. So you unscrew this guy, pull it out, and there you go. Now it's now it's going to come out. This is not that was not a good dismount. Okay. So what I want to show you now is the correct way, and I want you to keep your eyes on this actual lip because it was a lifesaver. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to put it in there. Check this out. Ready? It goes in like that. You guys see that? Do you guys see how that worked? So that actual clasp up top, that rim goes in the middle. Okay? And it sits in there. All right? And so when you tighten it up, look, it's low enough. Now, you're not going to be able to see that blade because it's cut so... It, it, I have it set up so short. But that, for me, was the biggest challenge. That was it. Okay? Because everything after that is legitimately a plug and play. Now... I'm going to spend a couple minutes, and for people who understand what plotters are, this is going to make complete sense to you, and you're going to be like, I can't believe this guy's going over it. But the majority of people who I think are actually going to watch this are going to be like, I don't understand what any of that means, okay? So when you have the plotter, and you're going to be putting vinyl in it, there are two, or actually three, uh, different commands that you can use. I don't know what copy means, so I'm not going to try to explain to you what it is because it would be wrong. Okay? This one is speed. And I'll get into that in just a second. And this one is pressure. Okay? Now, the instructions say, let's just keep it easy at 300. 300 is a good enough speed for, you know, a beginner. And, you know, it won't... Here's the difference. If you put it in at 800... It'll spit it out in 12 seconds. If you put it in at 300, it'll spit it out in 45 seconds. So I'm going to recommend to you that you stay around the 300 range. And by the way, the blade that I put in there is a 45 degree angle blade. And you want to use that blade to cut vinyl that you'll use to put on core plast. If you use a 60 inch blade, that blade specifically, I believe, is for the heat transfer vinyl, which is a little thicker, which is a little denser, but that's a different conversation for another day. We'll do a video on that too, okay? We're going to go video crazy. All right, so speed. Um, and on the U.S. cutter, all you got to do is click up and it will change it, okay? Oh, we got some yelling going on. So I would recommend to you to keep it at 300. Now the pressure, now... From what I understand, pressure is how hard the actual blade will be pushing onto the paper. Now, I know this may sound silly, but when you get your U.S. cutter, all right, and you have to put the blade into the actual holder, all right, there'll be instructions, which are actually really good, and it will tell you that you have to have your blade precisely the half of the length of a credit card. I'm going to say that again, okay? The instructions will tell you that you need to have your blade the half the length of a credit card. The width length. You know what I'm saying, okay? So, if you, and you can actually see it, believe it or not. You can put the blade up to the credit card, and if you, if you have good eyesight, right, you'll be able to see it. Because if you go too far you're going to cut through and if you go too um not as deep you're going to be in a world of hurt too so there's a fine balance there it's a, you got to be delicate all right so um i watched a video of a guy printing vinyl and he said that he had to use around 38 or 40 um, so I did that and it worked. So I'm not going to change it. All right. It's not that complicated, but, um, that's really all you have to do. And then you have the on button back here. Um, the other controls like local and origin and reset and copy test is when you have your plotter all set up and ready to go, uh, along with your vinyl, you hit test and it will do a little test for you to see how well, um, your your blade will puncture the, the vinyl. Uh, that's actually pretty cool too. Um, but that really, in a nutshell, 
are probably going to be the two things that I would suggest that you really think about. Now, if you have any other questions, obviously put them in the comments below. But I'm telling you, for me, the biggest one was that blade. It drove me absolutely bananas. All right. And then I just had to play with the speed and the uh, pressure. And I finally got it. All right. Um, so you're looking about an hour, hour and 15 minutes to set up this thing. It's a two person job. It catches all the stuff here. And then it comes with a, I don't know what kind of port it is. Pull it out. It's like a printer port. You guys ever seen those? It's like a square deal. That's the one that it uses. You put that in there and then the back end of it connects to a USB port. And then you'll plug that into your computer and then you'll use your software. But I'm gonna talk about the software right now, very briefly. I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail, okay? I don't wanna make this too long or too crazy, okay? Please hold. Now, believe it or not, I uh, was just in the middle of editing this portion of the software overview, and I didn't capture any of it. Yeah, how about that? All right, so we are gonna talk very briefly. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on one second. Um, I want to take just literally like five minutes to share with you just how simple it is to understand this Sure Cuts A Lot 4 Pro, okay? Because um, I've literally probably spent not more than maybe an hour and a half playing with it. And while I was playing with it, we're printing letters. So like the learning curve, if you're just, if you're savvy enough with like Windows uh, or savvy enough with like Word, like you can get this down. What I'll show you is really very, very basic and super simple, okay? So what I'm going to show you is within the program, there is a button called library. Huh, how about that? So this will show you everything that's in your library, all right? You also have fonts, okay? And you can upload fonts. So if there's a certain font that you want to use, you can upload it and boom, you have access to it. Okay. But for what I want to do here, I want to show you some basic stuff because this is actually really pretty cool. All right. So this is my substrate, but I'm circling right here. This is basically what your US cutter can cut. I have a 28 inch but I don't go farther than 26. So anything that I put in here with the vinyl that I got from US Cutter, I'm gonna be good to go, all right? So what I wanna show you, because this also took me a little while too. Um, if you look at the um, star, okay? When you print the vinyl for the star, all right? It's gonna cut out this edge, all right? And when you place the vinyl on the star and you cut out the star with a razor knife, okay, you will then peel off this vinyl so that you have um, this half inch, right? In the real world, this is called contouring. In the shortcuts a lot for pro software, this is called shadowing, all right? So each software is going to have a different name to describe it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that right here, okay? So let's say, for example, you wanted to make a star because we made a star, all right? We're gonna use this one. We're gonna click on it. And then behind it, all right, you're gonna have position sizes. Do you see these four buttons right here? This button will give you the document and this will give you the position and size. So you see width and height right here. What I'm going to do is I want this height to be 12 inches high, all right? And then I'll show you. It sees, so also, I was about to point to it. Keep, keep proportions. Yes, you want to keep proportions, okay? So when I hit enter, watch what happens. Boop. All right, let me move this over. You probably don't even see that. Um, but um, so here's your 12-inch high letter, and it's proportioned, okay? So what you're going to need to do next in order to get the contour is go to effects. See where it says shadow layer? Boop, there it is. Now I'm going to scoot this over here. So you have shadow layer and then it says size. 
or you could type it in. So what I do is because I want a half inch, I type it in, I press go, there it is. All right, now I should have done this in the upper left-hand corner because it'll cut it in the middle of my vinyl and I'll waste all this stuff on the side. So in reality, what you really wanna do is when you do this and you put this here, whoops, um, you're gonna wanna do 12 inches. All right, you're gonna wanna scoot this up all the way up to about here. All right, and then you're gonna to go to effects. You're gonna to go to shadowing layers. You're gonna go half inch, bang, there it is. All right, and then with your computer being printed, you click on cutter. Click on cutter and then uh, cut with US cutter. Bang, there you go, and it prints it out. I'm not gonna print one out right now, but that's the simple way you do it. And you can also do the same thing for fonts. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Got to highlight it. Bang. Oop, hi. Ha. Delete. And then we'll do a font. We'll do unkept because that's the sign fairy font. There it is. There it was. Unkept bold. If I wanted to do an S, I put it there. I go back to the size, click on the button. I want to do 18 inches high. Watch what happens. Hold on. All right, now you got that. And there you go. It'll print. Now what I noticed about this font is that it's squiggly. You see how it's squiggly? It's a lot harder to cut. Like a lot harder. So I'm probably not even going to actually use it. But that's a very simple way for you guys to get yourself acclimated with the software, okay? And then you can kind of grow off that. I haven't grown off that, but I will, all right? And that's what I wanted to show you. So I want to keep it real simple, I want to keep it real brief, and show you how you can print right away when you get your cut, okay? Hang tight. <clears throat> okay, okay. That's a quick 30-minute tutorial on kind of how you should set up your US cutter plotter, okay? I gave you a couple tips on what you need to be careful of when you install it. I shared with you a little bit about the software and um, gave you guys an update on what I bought. So check out the description below where you can go and pick this thing up. I'm not getting compensated for this at all, just so that you know, full disclosure, there's no affiliate code. I gotta work on that and then we'll get going from there. But um, you can go there and I think I paid with tax, something like 660, 640, something like that, um, for all of it, for the software, for the plotter, and for all the vinyl, and for the vinyl heat transfer. I think it's a pretty good deal. But I didn't get the heat press, so that's the other thing I have to get. But that's another story for another day. So listen, thanks for watching, okay? I hope you got something out of this. I really like doing this kind of stuff, if you couldn't tell already. But the long and short of what the plotter will be able to do is it'll open up your options in a way that haven't been opened before, okay? And if you're a privately owned yard sign celebration business, this is another thing that you can do that will set you above your competition because people who are part of franchises, which are fine, they gotta pay the $11.50 for their letter, okay? I'm telling you right now, when I made my letter, here's a pink one. How about that? Okay? Um, it's not gonna be $11.50. And like Kyle and like many other people, you can open up your horizons. So if you're not a member of our Facebook, private Facebook group, please, uh, I'll put a link in there as well. You can come, you gotta answer the three questions and you can learn how to do all this stuff, okay? You can also go to my website at Sign Fairies 
uh, channel and you can see all the how-to videos if you don't have a plotter and what you need to do in order to either spray paint your letters or do it that way, okay? Um, and then uh, please, if you've liked what you've uh, uh, watched, subscribe, guys. S smash that thing. You could also hook me up with a nice like. That really means a lot. Believe it or not, that does make a difference. And um, leave a comment, preferably a nice one. I, I do make an effort to get back to you if you leave a comment because it is that important to me. So that's it. That's what I'm leaving you with. Um, so listen, we'll see you on the other side. I want you guys to make it happen. I want you to smash the day and make it happen.